Earlier this month, I had the opportunity to attend the International Trademark Association's annual conference. It was actually just a few miles down the road from our office in Washington, D.C., and it was great to be back at a big conference with trademark professionals from around the world for the first time in more than two years. I want to briefly cover for you three key takeaways from this conference, and I think you'll see why, that even though the conference is for trademark attorneys and professionals, these takeaways apply beyond my work as a trademark lawyer and my work with our clients. The first takeaway, NFTs and the metaverse. Wow, everybody is talking about them. Everybody wants to learn about them and get involved. Here's the catch. Very few actually know what's going on with any of those things. <laughs> and even those who do know admit that the future in these worlds or virtual worlds is very unpredictable. I've been soaking up as much as I can on these topics, attending sessions, meeting colleagues. I've actually downloaded the software and purchased several NFTs of my own. And so I'm trying to get involved in this to the extent possible. We have several clients who are exploring these worlds and we've actually filed several trademark applications for clients that would protect their brands for non-fungible tokens, cryptocurrencies, and use in virtual worlds or metaverse. The second takeaway, people connections are tremendously important. And I hope that this applies for you in your work and your industry and your world as well. It was great to rekindle old connections, meet new people, and make new connections, to see colleagues from sometimes nearby, sometimes far away that I haven't seen in years, and many of whom have become you know, lifelong friends due to our work together and connections from these types of conferences. And I learn so much just from talking about them, what their best practices are working with their clients, what challenges they're seeing with their clients or with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. And sharing that knowledge and ideas and trading information is such a tremendous value from these conferences. And online conferences can bring a lot to the table, but they don't bring quite those same powerful connections that you get in person. And it really was a reminder to me of how much over the years I've gained, I've learned from attending these types of conferences. And so when you're looking for professionals, really regardless of what they do, I would hope that you might check and see, are they actively engaged in their professional communities, attending and speaking at conferences, participating in communities? I think it's a tremendous value to help become true experts in a field. And the third takeaway, and of course I'm extremely biased, but it's that the world of trademarks has to be the most interesting, exciting, and fun type of law to be involved in. I already believed this, of course, but the conference really reinforced that for me. Talking to colleagues from all over the world who work for all different types of law firms and corporations and businesses, some big, some small, some in huge multinational law firms, some who practice solo on their own, some who are going to physical offices five days a week, some who are exclusively virtual these days, all types of you know technology and the changes like the NFTs and the metaverse, all of these things that the world of trademarks interact with from brands that are very established for decades and decades like Coca-Cola or Ford Motor Company and talking to people who work with those brands to brands that are, you know, brand new or don't even exist in the marketplace yet. Brands that are exploring those metaverses, brands that are using new technology, like it's the whole spectrum. And that's what makes the world of trademarks so fun and interesting and exciting. And I hope some of that translates like you can hear my the excitement in my voice 
my voice is exhausted from a couple days at the conference and a lot of talking, but it's energized and excited because of that conference. So that's what I learned at the 2022 INTA, International Trademark Association Conference.